let me just uh, say this at the beginning, that um, our basic identity is we're a working conference. We're very serious about writing as art. This is one of the best writing conferences in the country. It's been around for 30 years. And three years ago, Bob Reeves was smart enough to include children's literature, screenwriting, and uh, two years ago, playwriting. And we hope that we are a worthy reflection of what he's created. Well, what I like about the conference is Annette Hanley Chandler. I think she has an enormous spirit and love of writing, uh, at the same time having an incredible sense of um, the work it entails, that it's not a dream, it's something you've got to do. There are almost no rules in screenwriting. Are these guidelines are useful for writers, or are these things that someone you're presenting a script to would be concretely looking for you to follow? Well, I think that it's a. Um, I think it's useful for, for both. I think that um, that I've I've had feedback because I don't I don't write fiction, but I've had fiction writers come tell me and that that they found it very very helpful in hammering their story out. Um, and um, uh, but as far as script readers, I mean, I I worked for years as a script reader, and I know what you're looking for. I guess my point is just that every little you know, corner of the market and segment, and it's very different from screenwriters to TV writers to playwrights to songwriters to novelists. To just, it's different in each one, but it's all being, everyone's being impacted. I think I'm most alive when I'm working on a new play mm -hmm. because you have these fabulous, you hope fabulous, characters talking in your head and you're trying to keep up with them, what they're doing and saying. Well, I still think language, especially language in, um, in like some sort of dramatic piece, a screenplay or a teleplay or a play, it's still sort of like a rhythmic, a rhythmic sort of element to it, and there's a music to it. So a lot of times you're trying to find the music feeling, you know, twofold. One, that the music sounds good, and secondly, that it sounds authentic. And in certain cases, I think they're probably one and the same. The time duration difference between a comma and a semicolon and a period, for example, Absolutely. is the fact that we, as playwrights, must notate exactly the way a composer does. Actors do this, but when they're doing Shakespeare, the, the punctuation and the line breaks are as important as the words. Playwrights have always depended on other people. We can't do our plays by ourselves. What I found uh, in EST very quickly was um, a, a, a community, something I didn't expect that I needed. The EST actors, oh my God. What we've been able to do in these 10 days and last year in 10 days, this is a playwright's dream. It's a play that I wrote uh, um, at the Stony Brook Manhattan uh, branch um, while taking John Robin Bates' class. And I think all great plays have a sort of secret, secret language under the surface. A world that they own. There's more opportunity now for playwrights uh, in translation, in adaptations, in, you know, in web, um, you know, I mean, there's just more demand for work. Every time you write a play, write the first play that's ever been written. We're very excited about this format um, because it means that uh, we can create tremendous synergy between writers of all stripes. Children's literature, ch uh, children's authors from picture books for young adult, playwrights and screenwriters uh, will all be working alongside one another and sometimes even together in the same room in the same sort of electives and special events and it makes for a very dynamic, creative, fertile writing environment. Here is the biggest boom in, in, right, in the book business, right? Is That's this true, right? actually. It, uh, YA particularly YA, yeah. is the fastest growing um, genre. I like to make things. That's pretty much it right there. I like to make things. I like to make grown-up books. I like to make children's books. I like to make short films. I like to make salads. You name it. I like to make it. Lulu's Piano Lesson started as, a, um, as an idea that I was going to tackle for the first time after many, many years of, of writing children's books. So, you know, if you think your story is that if an artist is very cool and just write for your story, you know, there are, you can find ways to, to 
go about that? Uh, master illustrator and author Ed Young has uh, illustrated, we think, somewhere over 85 uh, picture books. If you create this beautiful image or this image that really sums it up, maybe that word is no longer necessary. There is, there is something across the forms that links us because we all want to hear a story. You know, we all want an imagined world and that's what novels and poetry uh, and plays really all have in common.